preemies. So the video that you're about to partake in today is how babies are created because I feel like, well, I feel like that people really need to know and I'm just going to make it really short and really simple and hopefully uh, you find it educational. And if you like it and you like me, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitter and Facebook and well, you can creep in my window if you can find me. So, let me know what you think. Okay, class, settle down. Settle down. That'll do, pig. That'll do. It's time to learn about how babies are created. These miniature humans that can make or break us. This class is how babies are made for dummies, and we're just going to get straight to the point because I know that's all you can handle. I'm going to start off by telling you where babies do not come from. Babies do not come from storks, a cabbage patch, watermelon seed, and they surely do not come from a dumb broad swallowing her boyfriend's sperm. Really, the only thing that that will get her is maybe some diamond earrings. But anyways, that's besides the point. Okay, and I am just so sick of every time you guys come in here and I ask you the same questions, I get the same fucking answers. Okay, I am so sick of you little Jewish sex learners up in the front row giggling about, you just gotta fuck. You just gotta fuck. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, here, why don't you go ahead, honey, and take this condom and take it outside with you for protection when you go fuck yourself. Okay, Ninny Hammer? Okay. Anyways, the intricate details of how these miniature little human miracles are created are very important. And I'm just going to get to the point here. It's not all about... The fucking aspect. It's not, it's just not that word. That's not the correct language. It's not just Barbie meets Ken for some adult beverages over at Ken's Malibu condo while Trey songs plays in the background and, you know, all of a sudden Ken says, hey Barbie, welcome to my sex room. And all of a sudden Barbie's flight attendant uniform drops to the ground and Ken throws on that bounce. I know I'm getting off key here, but then all of a sudden, you know, Barbie's on TLC, I didn't know I was pregnant, or AKA, I was didn't know I hit a vagina. Okay, so a few things that your body should have intact for the baby making process. First of all, girls, your body should definitely have some ovaries. I have some kiwi here for a visual. This is pretty much what they look like, I can't guarantee the color. Your ovaries are extremely important. They're pretty much like a, a permanent egg carton um, that come fully stocked when you're born. You should also have a uterus and um, fallopian tubes and obviously a vagina. Um, fallopian tubes, I will just tell you that they're kind of just like a Venus flytrap, okay? When the egg's released, the fallopian tubes Suck it up, okay? Got that out of the way. Now, boys, your little baby-making factory consists of, we all know your penis, okay? Your penis, your scrotum, and your testicles. Okay, so everything is intact and everything's ready to go and the big moment has arrived. And you and your special someone are leaving Outback Steakhouse on Friday night. Ladies, you can just smell the amazing strongness of his Abercrombie and bitch cologne all over him and it just makes your heart pitter patter and guys you can smell and almost taste that Britney Spears curious perfume she has must around her like a goddess and it just makes the tensions rise and it just gets your blood flowing fast through your veins and you start to feel that sexual come on that you are just hoping and praying that it will end in the best orgasm of your life but you know you don't want to have too high of expectations because he could really be a good guy okay so that wonderful pleasurable 
orgasm, that amazing release, is actually very quite important. Um, a, because, well, it can make or break a relationship. B, because when a man has an orgasm, it allows his sperm-rich semen to propel into the woman's vagina and crash into her cervix at a whopping 10 miles per hour. Whoa, slow down there, speed racer! Anyways, this whole process is called ejaculation, which is giving that sperm a head start to a get that egg and possibly ruin your life forever.